got to do it in four days and nights. Because I think he needed some money to buy into an orchard or something. <laughs> you know, you, okay, four days and nights. You think a game, any of you who have written game programs, anybody? Four days and nights is nothing. You can do it in a day. You do it in a half an hour if you knew what you were doing. It was a simple game like Breakout. This was back in the hardware days. Games were not software. You had to hook wires from chips where signals went up and down to cause little pulses on the screen at the right place for the balls. So it was normally a six man month type job. And I looked at Steve and I said, I'll try. Four days and nights. We sat down there designing, designing, coming like this, trying to get this done. We went into Atari every night to work in the lab and Steve would zip there with a, a wire wrap gun, putting the wires on to wire my designs together. Something would work, I'd come over, look at the schematic, figure it out, change the circuit, he'd redo it. And uh, four days and nights, we got barely any sleep at all. We both got mononucleosis from this. <laughs> and, and, and we achieved it. But it was, um, and it was really inspirational. But my mind was in that state when you're not awake and you're not asleep and you're thinking, creative thoughts aren't restricted. You don't, it's almost like uh, drinking alcohol and you don't have inhibitions. Well, you don't have inhibitions to your, your thinking, sometimes when you're creative. Somehow I thought about microprocessors were somehow going to be in games someday. Yeah, you could just have programs that move the ball around.